Good morning, afternoon, evening, everybody. Welcome to Let's Play episode number 27 here on GTA World with the LSPD. So, as I mentioned in the last video, I am officially in the traffic division. And we are driving the only Mark Stanier in the entire faction. This vehicle is actually a test vehicle, uh, but uh, it was given to the traffic division to use and to test it out. Central check. So, this is the vehicle that I've been personally using. I've been enjoying it quite a bit. It's just a bit of a throwback to me to my first days inside the LSPD. And, not to mention, uh, once I get my uh, senior traffic officer patrol down, uh, I will be able to drive the interceptor. And to be honest, I don't care that much about the interceptor, but uh, I just enjoy doing the traffic duties and whatnot. That's what's been very fun with this division. The people in this division are very cool. Traffic division takes a lot of heat sometimes just for the means and whatnot, but honestly, I've enjoyed it a lot running the radars, uh, have the ALPR on, as you guys can see on the right-hand side. So if you pull up behind somebody and they have unpaid insurance, uh, you are able to tow that vehicle, and you can find out they have unpaid insurance and whatnot pretty quickly through that system. Uh, and that's a $5,000 fine and a vehicle impound. So it's just been a lot of fun getting used to traffic and whatnot, being in it. Because uh, like I said, I mentioned this before in my earlier Let's Plays, traffic is definitely what I enjoy doing the most. It's just I didn't really have the time for it. But uh, now I have a bit of time for it. And honestly, I've been having a lot, a lot of fun doing it. So very much looking forward to getting the probationary phase done for the traffic division and then full or then on to a uh, full-blown traffic officer. Um, the requirements aren't too, too bad for traffic, to be honest. Uh, they require uh, they require to keep an ABAS of 0.7 hours per day, which isn't bad at all. Um, then you have to do a few things by your probationary. I've got them all covered off already, with the exception of, uh, with the exception of, uh, the supervisory patrol. So you can see how the LPR works there. I just drove up behind that truck for an example. Uh, it shows all their information and I'm just going to make sure OBS is recording because it was kind of a pain. Uh, and last night we had a ton of pursuits. I probably put about 200 miles on this car last night. Is someone in that taxi? Because they are parked horrendously. Unfortunately, with taxis, you can't really give them an illegal parking ticket because uh, they're just a rented vehicle and no one's going to clean that fine, unfortunately. So that's kind of the way that goes. But yeah, it's been really fun just being able to focus on traffic stuff. And another exciting piece of information I did not mention in the last Let's Play because it didn't happen yet. Rage 1.1 is officially on GTA World. It was on it before, but it was just kind of a test phase. Now the official 1.1 has been out. And here we are earlier in the morning. It's only 11.30 my time. There's already 480 players on. And two days in a row, I think the server hit 1,000 players. That's absolutely insane. Uh, that's pretty awesome. So the server hit a thousand players before I ever thought it would. I feel like that's going to become the norm this summer is a thousand players. And I'll tell you what, things can get very, very interesting when a thousand players are on. I feel like a car that's parked like that now, you got to be careful sometimes getting no parking tickets because like you can kind of tell when a car has been hit, when it hasn't been hit and stuff like that. Uh, you just don't want to give someone a parking ticket because somebody liked into them or some crap like that because that can happen quite often, uh, especially with the high player count. Right now they have a fix coming out today where it should help stabilize the server a little bit more when it gets over 800 players because it does start to lag a little bit. And I think I will also post my interception at the beginning or the end of this video that I did last night. I was definitely in the right place at the right time and completely ended a pursuit with this uh, slower vehicle. So it was hectic last night, folks. There's been a lot of stuff going on here. So 1,000 players, yeah. It, shit can hit the fan pretty quickly and you officers can get tied up pretty quick and whatnot so it's a lot of fun uh i know we have a new batch of officers getting put into the faction today so that's awesome welcome to them because we very much need to have a couple officers right now um because we are running a little short-handed in the evenings it'll take a couple months to get them all trained and whatnot but once they are it'll definitely be a big help 
Uh, d d d other stuff too is FD. They've also been uh, pretty tied up the last couple nights. They've had 13, 14 players on every night, but uh, they've been even struggling to keep up with the calls. The other day as well, I did my first traffic investigation, so that was pretty fun too. And I hope you guys enjoyed the last Let's Play as well. Um, I did that one with Bunting. Long time I've known him, as you guys heard in the last Let's Play, about seven years we've known each other, so I played with him for a long, long time here. Not only on GTA World, but Red County as well. He was kind of one of the ones that uh, kind of convinced me to come over to GTA World, and certainly glad that I did. So, uh, my Crown Vic in real life, still haven't been able to get it out yet, I'm hoping. Actually, we'll go this way. Don't mind my driving. So I'm hoping I'll be able to get it out here by uh, next weekend. I called last week and there were still two cars parked in front of me. Uh, so I'm hoping that they moved because it's been nice weather all week and it's supposed to be nice weather all this week. I'm hoping I'll get a call and uh, hopefully that car will come out. Very much looking forward to getting the car out. Kind of gets boring without it. I enjoy having it. Then I'll sell the Corolla. Got to do a couple things to the Crown Vic. Also, because the time changed in real life, the server, that was a couple weeks ago, the server is only three hours ahead of me right now. I'm not sure how the European time works. Do they have their time change in May? Someone that knows more than I do, please let me know. Uh, because I thought when I started playing on the server, I was four hours behind last year. But it uh, could be wrong. I don't know much. <laughs> Excuse me. I cough a little bit. Of, oh my god. Shit. We ain't catching that guy. No, he is long gone. Damn it. That sucks. Sometimes that's just the stuff that happens. Good thing for the push bar, I wouldn't have had a front end left, that's for sure. Yeah, see, the ALPR can, didn't even have a chance to read his plate or anything because he flew by so fast. You normally got to sit behind him for a second or two for it to pick it up. But uh, he just flew so far on past me, I didn't have a hope in hell of catching him. And obviously he's on a bike. Once you go through a couple alleyways, see you later. I usually don't chase bikes. It's not worth it. Uh, kind of like Red County. They're just mostly a pain in your ass. They're out there to cop bait and stuff. Just not fun. Uh, so I personally do not bother. All right, guys, we're going to go help Camilla Thompson here. Unknown occupancy. So we were driving by anyway, so... We'll roll up and lend a bit of cover just in case. And that way, just in case anything odd happens here. And uh, it, it's sometimes always good to have a spare unit on scene anyway, so it has been too, too crazy and I was driving by, so I figured I might as well show up and help. I definitely love the uh, little side flashers here on the stand here. They're pretty cool. I wish the uh, Crown Vicks had those, actually. And that guy just ran a red. So, we're gonna go pull him over. All right. All right, so this guy, um, he just completely blew the red light while we were sitting there. 
So he's definitely going to be getting a ticket today. I can say I'm with the traffic division now, then they know they're screwed. What a last name. He should be Buzz Lightyear. Nobody notices the stand near the cop car because it's literally like the only one of the faction that's pretty great. That guy just, this guy though was just flying down the road. I'm still doing the Let's Play right now, but oh my god, Camilla, that was funny. Uh, yeah, go on. We're yeah. sitting at the friggin', in, we're sitting at the traffic stop, this, that fucking red, this, this friggin' uh, orange speedo just flew through the friggin' uh, red light. Yep. That's circus for you. He goes, I slowed down and performed a turn at 40 miles an hour. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> oh my god. He asked me while I'm sitting in the cruiser, why he's in front of me, are you going to put it on my record? Jeez, I wonder. <laughs> Damn right. Oh my god. Wait, no, he's good. This, this person also doesn't have a license. Mm -hmm. They don't have a license? Nope. Kesha should have stayed there. No, 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 I'm being friendly. She's she she has she friendly and she doesn't have a record, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just escort. I'm gonna just uh, take her to the escort. To the center. I see. But I'm gonna let She's her park up. She's taking off. Gonna be eastbound since Taquan. She's gonna be lucky then. Anyways, I have to run back to my channel. Channel switched. They had a pursuit going on, but I had to finish this guy's citation.
Huh, oh, gotta go on a lot of spiel here. Sounds like they crashed in that pursuit. Oh my god, look, that, look, look at the gat guy! Oh my god, he just said it, you stopping innocent truckers. I was <laughs> Alright, we're gonna let that guy get back to his duties. Houston's a little frustrated at his antics there. And we are going to go have to uh, type up a traffic report here real quick and get that done and over with. I always like to do it right after. So, uh, that way it's done and covered. I'll be right back. Alright guys, welcome back. We just pulled someone over here for speeding. Seventy-seven in the sixty zone back there. I caught it on Shadow Place, so I'll use that as my dash cam footage. So we're gonna look up this person on the NBC, because that the ALPR gives us. Lexi Vasquez. Doesn't really have any priors, so probably going to let him off the warning. Wasn't that high over the limit.
let's see what she says. Like I said, she doesn't really have any priors or anything. She's with the FD, so we'll probably give her a warning here. Also have a big race to do in iRacing later tonight, so that'll be fun. I guess not that late, it's at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. I don't think I'll have this video uploaded by then, but uh, might. Have to do two Let's Plays this week, so this is my second one because I didn't get one the week before. Alright guys, and with that, thank you so much for watching another Let's Play. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was nice to be able to get one done at the normal day. Uh, or, it's normal day. Yeah, normal date and time. Because usually I try to do them on Sunday mornings because things aren't too hectic. I can talk to you guys and everything like that. So I'm going to head on route to MRS to disband. So yeah, if there's anything that you guys have questions about with the PD, I know they have a new batch coming in here soon. Feel free to drop a comment. Feel free to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I usually try and post a Let's Play at least once a week. And hopefully sooner rather than later I'll be able to do a Let's Play with the Interceptor because I'm sure some of you are excited to see that. I know some of you are probably confused that I've been back in the stand here because uh, it's an older car that I have not driven in a very, very long time. So thank you all so much for tuning in. Thank you all so much for tuning in. <laughs> Hope you all have a wonderful week and I will see you all next time. ...to go back north. North. And we're taking a U-turn to go back towards the city. South on Palomino. Yeah, so it has to be away from Sonora, by the way, so you can cancel those spikes. Once Good. again, passing the Ron station. Spikes on Palomino, spikes on Palomino. Call that out when you see the car coming close, by the way. <coughs> Alright, another U-turn. Yeah, another U-turn. I got spikes on the head. Good job.